Hi hey everybody and welcome back. So today I will be opening my first grouping of the new set Scarlet and Violet. Um, I received the booster case which was six booster boxes uh, plus there was three additional cases of the sleeved boosters so that was somewhere in the ballpark of about 600 packs if you do the math out it's 144 times 3 and then um, 216 which is the 36 times 6 so I've got about a booster box and a half worth uh, set up already for today's video um, which you can see here so I'm gonna have to do this in multiple groupings 600 plus packs is a lot for one sitting so let's get started so this part was actually part of the um, sleeved booster box so I've already taken them out of their actual sleeves um, it's a, like a cardboard setting just to save us some time so But I am excited to see what this new set has to offer. Ooh, we are already starting off with some hits. This is exciting. So, got a new pack of penny sleeves here. And as we discussed in the last video, um, they did start with the like, silver side again, which is pretty cool. A little bit different than the yellow, although it kind of throws me off. Um, this one, fun fact, um, they had actually nerfed in the game itself, um, Scarlet and Violet, because I guess there was something about its move set that just made it so overpowered. But Magnazone EX. It's a very nice card. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know exactly the details. I haven't played Scarlet and Violet yet. Um, but yeah, I, I had heard that it was either nerfed or just outright banned in like the PvP side of it. Cyclazar, that's a fan favorite from the actual game. So, as always, I will link in the description my different storefronts. Pretty much everything you see here today will be on uh, the TCG store as far as the hits are concerned um, for the singles. Uh, and then I will be doing bulk lots of like this kind of stuff plus um, all of like the the commons and commons and, and basic rares and stuff and that'll be uh, coming up on the eBay storefront. Um, I have probably 10 to 15 different sets worth of uh, bulk cards um, right now that's just been kind of sitting around so I'm already up to, I don't know, I would say probably at least 6,000 uh, for the next bulk lot. So I'll see what will fit in a box and then kind of go um, from there. But this stuff will be in it. So I see they're really pushing the energy again in this set. Which, not a, uh, not a super fan of the energy style that has the silver border. I don't know why, it just seems, I don't know, a little weird looking. It doesn't, just doesn't quite feel Pokemon-ish, even though it obviously is. It just makes it seem more, I don't know, official, is that the right term? And less, like, funsy as far as energy is concerned. Some of you might know what I mean. So, uh, in other news, I did send out uh, 20, man, these, these uh, are just getting harder and harder to open. Uh, I want to say 28 cards out for PSA to get graded, so 
Um, I did do the slow speed. There's no real point of paying it to come in faster um, unless somebody is like really looking for something. But um, so I did send out 28 cards to that. So when that does come in, we will do uh, a follow up video on that. Uh, see how everything goes. Um, I have a feeling that I will probably get um, several nines. There's some stuff that I'm hoping that would grade at 10, but um, there's definitely has to be some tens in that lot. I mean, everything was packed to sleep like this, but um, as an example, I mean, this most likely wouldn't be a 10, even though it's brand new, just because of the significant um, amount of spacing on either side. It's, it's definitely uh, off kilter, so yeah. But hopefully uh, PSA treats us well. I do like this sand dial more than the sand dials that have been um, in some other sets. So it looks like uh, about three uh, foils a pack seems to be pretty standard so far. Three foils and an energy. So I have a feeling for this uh, set foils aren't going to hold near the amount of values they have in some other sets. Obviously excluding like the EX and stuff like that. So I haven't looked too too much in the set. I didn't want to spoil the fun. Uh, I figured with over 600 packs I'll probably pull just about one of everything. Uh, so I don't even know if they have like V, V star, any of that kind of stuff. Um, or if this is just going to be like EX as, as the top. So um, I'm looking forward to finding out with you all. Now this guy is awesome. Skeletors. That's some pretty cool artwork. So at some point I'll stop sleeving just the the basic kind of foils um, doesn't I mean it's just not really worth doing that with um, cards that are worth like 10 cents and then you put them in a penny sleeve which nowadays with inflation isn't even a penny anymore it's like I don't know almost two pennies nowadays just for a single penny sleeve so I mean, you're already looking at 20% of the value of protecting it. Just kind of not worth it. But while everything is such a new set, I do want to keep it just because you never know when, when somebody buys it if they are looking to, ooh, um, you know, to grade it or something. Bayonet EX. Now, we had in the, I want to say it was the last video, maybe it was a video before that, where we kept pulling... Um, Bayonet Full Arts. So this is uh, kind of matching our theme, but that is a nice looking bayonet compared to some of the other ones that we've pulled. That one the centering looks pretty good too, so um, not perfect though, but that could be a 10. Chances are I haven't really looked up too much of the values yet either just because I didn't want to uh, spoil what kind of stuff is in this set. I do know it's, I want to say, 250-ish cards. Uh, it could be like 225-ish, but um, I'm sure we're going to see pretty much all of them for the most part. At least hopefully. I mean, with 600-plus packs, you would think. But I guess we'll find out over the next couple of videos just uh, how rare the rare stuff is for this new set. If I maintain a good speed, I'll add more to uh, this video as well as far as packs are concerned. I guess we'll just kind of have to plan it by ear. So... Cloth. 
That's a cool looking guy. So I wonder what the difference is of, some of these have like a foil border and like foil in the background and then other ones are foil, but it's just like that solid kind of matte silver. I wonder if that is a, a difference in rarity. Now, obviously that was a rare and this is a common, so I get that, but I wonder if there's like gonna be different, I don't know, tiers to foils or something. That's something I'm gonna have to look more into. So again, uncommon, but it is a kind of a solid matte silver again. So I am noticing a pattern that that was a rare with, again, with the foil background uncommon, no foil background, uncommon, no foil. So maybe it's just the rares have the foil back, or not backgrounds, but like the, the siding. I do have to say they have uh, figured out a way to make these packs feel like they are $10 packs every time. They are more difficult than ever to bust open. We need some more hits. We are starting off pretty, uh, pretty weak so far. A couple of good things, but... Um, Considering how many packs we are in so far, uh, I really hope this set turns around. I hope this isn't uh, boating how all of this is gonna go. So, cause it's two real hits out of, I don't know, 10 plus packs already. Klefki. In Pokemon Go, you can only catch Klefki in France. I don't know if in the real games there's any sort of what's considered regionals or not. I know, of course, there are some that you can only catch, like in a Johto or Kanto region or whatever. So, well, I guess if you if you think about it, that, that would be considered a regional then, wouldn't it? Spide Ops EX. That's a clean looking card. And this one I pulled in my uh, other video where I did the six packs before the pre release. This is one of the ones that I had sent off for grading, I believe. Uh, but this one looks to be centered way better. So, eh, kind of bite your nose and spite your face. Le chunk. <laughs> so while we're doing this, I would like to say, you know, please like, comment, subscribe. I haven't really got too much comment so far, but I do have my notifications on for the channel. So if you've got something to say, whether it's an answer to a question of mine or uh, an opinion or anything, um, don't be uh, afraid to, to leave a comment. And yes, please like and subscribe so I know this is the kind of stuff that you like to see. Um, and so you can get notifications when I release new videos as well. Uh, as I've spoken quite frequently about in, in previous um, videos that someday I do want to get into um, 
giveaways and stuff like some of the big youtubers as the channel grows so kind of my my mark is um when i hit a, a thousand subscribers i want to start doing some giveaways that's when you can uh, officially monetize the channel and then all of that monetization is just going to go back into uh, pokemon anyways and then um i will uh, start doing giveaways you know like five packs of these to random lucky winners stuff like that so um that is the goal of, of my channel is to be able to uh give away as you know more and more people become interested with what i do and what i have to say and, and all of that so and to the uh, subscribers that i have so far uh thank you for your support Annihilate. That is cool. Uh, another form of or an evolution after Primeape, which is very cool. Annihilate. <laughs> I wish they would do that more for the. I'm not a fan as much of, of the Pokemon that only have one evolution. It just feels. Um, a lot of times, especially in the games, just kind of boring. Like, you're working so hard to get them experience and all that. And then, um, like, they just cap out on you so early. Not to say that they're all bad or anything. Um, there are some good ones in, in all the games. But um, I feel like having a, a second evolution just gives you so much more to work towards um, than capping out something at, like, level 25 or whatever. I am getting really excited seeing that background here. Ooh. A full art. Don Dozo. He's a fish. Some sort of fish. But that is really nice artwork. And another little fish. Don Dozo. Kind of like the angry version of Magikarp. Alright, I am gonna go through a million penny sleeves if I keep doing this with just basic foil, so I think I'm just going to save it. I didn't realize there was gonna be three in every pack. Uh, certainly takes the specialness at foil when out of a ten card pack 30% of them are foil. So I'm just going to start considering them bulk. Um, since they just aren't rare. Plus, I can get through more packs if I don't treat them so special. We are looking for some winners here. All right, officially one third through how many I was planning on doing. Now that I'm not going to sleeve all the foils, uh, I can pick up the pace a little. So um, might add on might not I try not to make these videos too too long I mean they could go on forever especially when you have as many packs as I do but um, I don't want to bore you all either or lose your attention or anything so uh, I do want to kind of limit that a little bit Alright, so if I kind of teleported a little bit, that would be because I paused the video. Uh, my neighbors are apparently getting appliances delivered, and that sort of sound just sets the dogs off. So, 
Alright, hopefully they are done. Guess not. Alright, and I'm back again. They are testing my patience today. Been waiting all day for a quiet period of time. Had to, had to make sure that the mailman came and any sort of deliveries or whatever just so I could get some quiet, but can't prevent neighbors from getting deliveries. Crydon. Now I know, because I did see that one, that that has a much cooler form um, as well in these cards. I want to say it's Crydon EX, but hopefully we see this form. Really not doing too hot so far. And Maridon also I'm pretty sure has a much cooler form as well. Um, as far as the cards are concerned. Spy Dops EX. Hmm. Um. Interesting. What is the difference here? Obviously, between this one being full art and this one not. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Trap wire. Same skill set. I think this is just the the full art version. Although this. Makes him look far more vicious. This makes him look not very scary. But still a cool looking card though. I do like the blues and the greens. Here we go. There we go. Maridon X. Now this is one of the ones that I pulled in my pre-release and I definitely set this one off to get graded. Um, fortunately that one was in a little bit better condition than this one. This one is still near perfect but it's you can see some of the foil is um, a little bit like scraped from the pack. Uh, you might not even be able to tell on camera, but this would um, potentially grade as a 10. It looks like it's pretty much perfectly centered, but um, who knows? But that is a nice card either way. I won't tell you everything that I got graded, though. I want the, the release to be a surprise. Um, like I said, I'll do a video for that when they come back in, I don't know, two months. Hopefully faster, but... see the uh, foil silver lining and I get excited and then it's just a basic rare. It's going to take some uh, getting used to. Ooh, that is interesting. It's Ralts, although Ralts certainly does not look like the main character in his own or her own story. At first I thought it was a supporter. But it, that is, look at the detail, just that, I don't know, apartment or house or whatever. So much detail. Even the little 
I don't know, wedding picture or something in the background of the two of them. Either way, it's a nice looking full, full art. Another hit. Finally starting to gain some traction here. Toxic Croak EX. Certainly one of the fan favorites. Very good uh, poison type in the games. And poison and, and fighting, um, I think. Which is weird because it's also weak to fighting. Uh, I'm not positive. I don't use them personally. Alright, I would say we're keep pulling back and forth between the two piles, but we're probably about halfway through. So I won't add uh, any additional packs to this video, because this video uh, will probably be right around that 45 minute mark, it seems. So we will do another one soon though. I do have so much more to go through. Much, much different looking art for Dondozo. Looks uh, kind of like a koi, like a koi or a little whale, like a, I don't know, small whale lord or something. First gold card of the video. Well, in general, I don't think I've pulled one on on my show so far. Rare candy. Well, certainly rare, all right. That is I love gold cards. It's no real good reason. Obviously they're they tend to be somewhat valuable, at least in the beginning, but just talk about feeling special. That uh gold does. And I, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet or not, but there definitely is difference in, in rarities, and they've actually colored it. So this one, your basic black single star. This one is a golden single star. This one is two black stars. This one is three gold stars. So they're definitely... Um, Coloring their rarities too, um, and starring it based on rarity. So um, I'm gonna have to look more into that to see kind of what's what. Um, but that's a nice little touch as far as the rarity is concerned, because otherwise you're just expected to pretty much all the other sets just kind of memorize the rarities of, of each card. Um, so having some sort of ooh new tier system is gonna be great. That is a nice looking card. Dolive. Nice little full art right there. See, and that one has a gold star um, and a non foil outside, just like that one. Alright, sorry about that. I got a call on my phone um, while I'm trying to record, which apparently pauses the recording, um, even if you choose to ignore the card in the call.
All right, everybody, welcome back. Apparently I'm going to do a part two of this video because they answered the call because they kept calling back. And it got rid of the recording. Well, it didn't get rid of the recording. It saved it, but it stopped it instead of pausing it. So I guess we are gonna do a part two much earlier than planned. So this series will be one video longer than expected, but it is what it is. So, anyways, we were, um, maybe at a good point to begin with anyways, I guess. Um, we were about halfway through, so a 20-something minute video is, is probably not horrible anyways. So, I should probably decide on, like, a solid, <laughs> that's a cool looking artwork, um, solid time frame of videos and try to stick to that just see what the sweet spot is whether it's 15 or which would be really hard with doing this kind of stuff or 20 30 45 I don't know. I'll, I'll look at some metrics and viewership and see kind of what everybody's preferring So I am curious uh, to you all, um, how many of you actually play um, the actual TCG versus just collecting? Um, I'm very curious about that. I do know that more and more collectors have popped up, um, but at like local stores and stuff um, where they do tournaments and all that, the population really hasn't increased over the past few years so um i'd be interested to see what kind of numbers are collectors versus players so if you um if you do play um please leave a comment on this video Another Banette EX. Um, different style art. So this is the full art and then this is the non-full art version. Honestly, really cool artwork. Banette usually um, doesn't get good attention. It just kind of looks bad everywhere. But this is probably the best artwork that I've seen for him with this claw and power and all that it usually just gets well just silly little versions and for those of you that do collect but don't play uh what made you get into collecting um, was it your childhood where you used to play or collect? Uh, did you have um, kids and you started to try to get them into it? Was it the pandemic? What got you into collecting? Magnazone EX, another hit. The sleeves make them so slippery. It's hard to keep them nice, but I want to keep everything mint too at the same time. Really excited about that rare candy. Ooh, 
Ooh, another Toxicroak EX. Just spoke about that and what I believe is technically the last video now, even though this is kind of, I guess, going to be a two-part video. Um, just pulled that one like three minutes ago. Full Art Supporter, which these have been getting more popular lately. I gave Katie or Katie a little birthmark. No, that is not a spec. That is 100% on the card. Ironically, her birthmark is the same size as her nose, just about. It's probably a a tenth of a millimeter difference. But uh, minus the uh, spider web design on her, she um, probably would be a waifu to some of you. I know how some of you love your supporters. Toad scroll. Looks like a grass tentacle. Ooh, Great Tusk EX. That's a very cool looking full art right there. And see, that's two silver stars. Man, I am curious what the uh, the new rarity system is. I gotta look more into it. Very, very cool looking card. Was that a red magic carp? It was. Well, eh, hard to tell. Ooh, another full art support. Jacques. Or something along those lines. Hmm. He's exhausted from searching all of his packs. Huh. Literally search. Hmm, there he is in his normal form. these two little guys but oof, I will never get small dogs again these will be my first two and my last two small dogs cute very cute very lovable two little mini dachshunds but they are exhausting with their mouths 
and just bark, bark, bark. They're like long, angry chihuahuas with a Napoleon complex. That's cool. Cool art for Hound Doom. This is one that I was looking forward to getting. Gyarados EX. And it's terraform with its little crown and it's all crystallized. And see, this is two star black. Like, I really don't get it. Very, very cool Gyarados. Very cool. Which, I mean, that's one of the, the features. Did I say terraforming? I, I didn't mean that if I did. It's been a long, short day. But it does have a terraform, is what I meant, if that's what I said. Hopefully that means there's something awesome in it. Another version of the Toad's Cool. Different artwork. Ooh! Gardevoir EX. It's a very nice color scheme with the pink, the blue, the purple in between, the very bright green. Very, very nice foil right there. Looks great. Looks just about perfectly centered, too. That might be a grade-worthy card right there. Along with some of the other ones that we've gotten, but that one is nice. of a room Down to our last two packs of this video. Alright, last pack. Give us something awesome to end with. a hit. Aw. Let's see, do I have a pack nearby? Yeah, let's do one more. I want to end this on a good note. Alright, come on. Give us a hit. Let's end this on a high note. Ooh, I see it. 
another Dondozo full art. Nice, and they gave us another Dondozo behind it. And no, that really wasn't planned. I was just hoping for a hit, but um, I mean, I have a box with hundreds of packs sitting there, so another Dondozo. Nice. Where is he? There he is. All right, well, that'll conclude this video for today. Got a lot of good stuff today. Um, we're probably, I don't know, less than 100 packs in uh, out of 600 plus packs. So definitely going to be more videos to come for sure. Um, I'm very excited to see what else we're going to get. See all the different artworks and everything and um, build up a, a sweet new collection. And like I said before, anything that I don't keep ends up in my TCG store um, or the bulk ends up on my eBay store. So that'll be in the description comments. Um, and hopefully as we grow this channel, eventually some of this stuff oops, will be yours. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, help me grow. Have a good one. Bye.